we are going to talk about simplifying absolute value expressions. Let's begin by reviewing what absolute value means. The absolute value of a number is the number of units it is from zero on the number line. The absolute value of five is equal to, well, here is zero on the number line, and here is five on the number line. Five is five units away from zero on the number line. So the absolute value of five is five. What about the absolute value of negative five? Here is negative five on the number line. How far is it from zero on the number line? It is also five units from zero. So the absolute value of five is equal to five. And the absolute value of negative five is also equal to five. What is the absolute value of negative seven? Well, here's the number line, and here is zero, and here is negative seven. That is seven units from zero on the number line. The absolute value of negative seven is just seven. What does the absolute value of seven equal? Well, let's look at seven on the number line, and it is seven units from zero. The absolute value of seven is seven. Now let's work on simplifying absolute value expressions. The absolute value of negative three plus the absolute value of five. Negative three is three units from zero on the number line. The absolute value of five is five. Three plus five is eight. The absolute value of negative eight minus the absolute value of 15. The absolute value of negative eight is eight. Bring down the minus sign. The absolute value of 15 is 15. Now be careful here. It is correct that the absolute value of 15 is 15. The reason I have a negative in front of it is because I brought down the negative or the minus sign. Eight minus 15 is negative seven. The absolute value of 14 minus the absolute value of negative six. Now a common mistake here, when students see a minus and a negative, they want to combine these and change it to a positive. Well now this is not a parentheses. This is absolute value signs. So we need to evaluate the absolute value and then do the subtraction. The absolute value of 14 is 14. I will bring down the minus sign, and the absolute value of negative six is just six. So 14 minus six will be eight. Now we have a multiplication problem. The absolute value of negative four times the absolute value of negative eight. Let's simplify those absolute value expressions first. The absolute value of negative four is just four times the absolute value of negative eight is eight, and four times eight is 32. Let's try this one. Negative the absolute value of two times the absolute value of negative seven. This negative sign is not inside the absolute value. I will bring that down. The absolute value of two is just two times, and the absolute value of negative seven is seven. I will have negative two times seven. That will be negative 14. Let's try one more problem. The absolute value of negative 72 divided by the absolute value of eight. The absolute value of negative 72 is 72, divided by the absolute value of eight is just eight, and 72 divided by eight is nine. 